For me, I am a massive fan of whenever somebody's pissed off at somebody else, they're given an area where you can go do whatever you want. Listen, hey, when two humans get into a cage and fight each other, I'm gonna watch it, all right? Oh I, yeah. I, I, I won't do it, okay? I have the utmost respect for the people do it, but I respect the fact that that's available for people to do as a living. Hockey is this incredibly graceful sport. You have to be able to ice skate, which is impossible. You have to be able to have dexterity with your hands while handling the stick. You have to have to have great vision, cardio, your strength has to be there. It is an incredibly beautiful sport. But last night, six fights in the first period, okay? Woo! As soon as the puck dropped to start that whole thing, three fights immediately yeah. for the comeuppance for what Tom Wilson did. The only issue was the Capitals and Tommy Wilson were the reason why this happened, okay? It's the reason why this fight happened. But their team is built for this type of thing. Yeah. They were actually probably just as excited as we were about what was going to happen in this game last night in Madison Square Garden. As soon, Tommy Wilson's not on the ice to begin this whole thing. They have another group. As soon as the puck drops, here we go. Three fights, three go right into the goddamn penalty box. <laughs> All right, so everybody's excited. Pierre Maguire, I think, was on the call, and he was a hey, uh, Hey, boys, I think we thought this was when it was coming or whatever. You know, it's good. Yeah, is that it or whatever? And then Tom Wilson gets on the ice for his first shift. And they're like, okay, here we go. And there was a guy named something Smith. And this son of a bitch, this, this unlucky son of a bitch, <laughs> had to be the guy who had to go fight Tom Wilson. I assume this was a decision made by the coach in the, um, in the locker room, which I believe they call... Do they call it a locker room? No, I think they locker call it. Locker room, yeah. No, I think there's the some. hockey den? No, it's like a, uh, I don't know. I, I think the Canadians have something for it. I, we have Gumpy here, but he hates Canada, so. True. I mean, we don't really know. But anyways, I assume in the locker room there was actual conversation like, okay, who's got Tom? Smith He was either like, I got him, or they're like, Smith's got him. He's yeah. a God damn it. Fuck. So as soon as Tom gets on the ice, all right, he like makes a pass. You see one Ranger guy like kind of skate away, and then there's another guy coming right at him. And the thing about Tom Wilson, everybody wanted him suspended. Everybody wanted him fined like hundreds of thousands of dollars. Everybody in the NHL that isn't a Capitals fan is like, get this guy out of the fucking league. Capitals fans are like, we love this guy. He's really good at hockey. Yeah. He's really handsome. He's not scared to do things. He beat the fuck out of this guy. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> so uh, the Rangers do this entire, God bless your soul, Foxy. Jesus. Oh, God. God. May this Lord be with you. Uh, but he was the reason for this entire fight that the Rangers had to do this whole thing. He gets on the ice after three people already fight. He beats the fuck out of a guy. Okay, he goes into the penalty box, takes his shirt off. He's standing there. There's four wide now. Two more fights happen. They got six deep. They're standing in there talking shit to the Rangers. Like, <laughs> that's not the, the penalty box. That's just the, the actual roster. That's the team after. Hey, that's the go. penalty oh, box. Six people packed into that thing after the fight. <laughs> there's Tom Wilson smiling, by the way. Just got a New Jersey. Now he did not finish the game. They just sent him out there. The Capitals almost did their own. Like, all right, we'll suspend him for a game. Basically, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. this is just going to be a fight every single time. They understand that's how hockey is. But I loved it. I assume the ratings went down immensely after Chara had a conversation. Chara, by the way, from Boston, is a six foot nine guy, I guess. Oh yeah. Uh, and he's just somebody that beats the fuck out of everybody. Uh, but at the end of the first period, he actually goes over to the Rangers bench, I, I guess, and goes. Uh, Hey, we doing this again? Because I'll I will get involved. <laughs> yep. They kind of settled out from there. But what a night for hockey! I absolutely loved it. Nick, this this is good. For, I saw all the hockey purists. A lot of people are coming after me because I was like, "This is hockey. Hey, this isn't hockey. What are you? This is not good for hockey." It's like, all right, Whoa. tell me the ratings and then tell me what happened immediately after those fights happened. What the interest level was. And I'm not saying this happens every night, but this is what separates hockey from other top sports: is that you can handle something as if it's 1925. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, if you need to handle it, let's handle it. now. That Washington team is able to do whatever they want okay they're built to fight people they're they built do, to handle it. they do bully people and the rangers probably always felt like god damn it we got it why did they have to go boys why did they have to do that to us boys <laughs> yeah. and they just send out sacrificial lambs or whatever but that was good for hockey last night and hockey people aren't going to say it was good for hockey i i obviously want everybody to be healthy and everything like that but a sport that still has that nick you guys got to be pumped over there in the hockey world. yeah and it doesn't matter what the purists say because that's the way the league wants it they want the players to settle and they want the players to
the police themselves and handle it on the ice. And they did. You know, these two teams, now they're done playing each other for the season. Something will probably carry over to the next season. But the Rangers are going to have to bulk up if they want to battle with the Capitals next year. Well, not just the Rangers. I think it's everybody. Uh, oh, yeah. Them bringing in Chara when they already had Oshie and they already had Tom Wilson. I mean, they... they Ovechkin. Ovechkin, who can get after Tough it. If he has yeah. the questions, oh, yeah. will get after it. It feels like that team is one that... If they decide that they want to humiliate you, they will. And uh, you're going to have to stand up for all that's good for hockey. <laughs> and what you're running into is a, a buzzsaw. Yeah. I, I, I think the Rangers might have won one of the, won, won the fights last night. Maybe. And it wasn't, like a, it wasn't like a clean win. I respect the fact that they did. They won out, you know, on their shield for their guy mm -hmm. that got, uh, you know, treated. I love that a lot. But the, the Capitals all day were thinking, like, yeah, we hope. Can't wait. Fucking hey. bring it, boys. Hey, we fuck. I would like to see, you know how they do the tunnel shots of teams? Mm -hmm. Ooh. I would like to see the Capitals in there, fucker. He, he. All right, here we go. <laughs> Let's get there before that game. And then the Rangers are probably just like, no, God fuck. Damn it. Why did it have to happen to us? I Let think that's the biggest uh, criticism of it all is because I think everyone sees, uh, who's not a Capitals fan, they see Tom Wilson, they see him run around and do all these things he does in the ice, they get pissed off. And the league is like, well, the, le the players will take care of it themselves. Well, the fans are like, listen, no one's taking care of Tom Wilson because they can't. can't He's feeding it. everybody fists. They wanted this guy gone years ago oh, yeah. for similar actions that he's doing. Uh, the New York Rangers have been fined $250,000. The National Hockey League announced today that the New York Rangers have been fined a quarter of a million dollars for their public comments on Tuesday, May 4th. Public comments of the nature issued by the Rangers that were personal in nature and demeaning of a league executive will not be tolerated, said NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman. While we don't expect our clubs to agree with every decision rendered by the Department of Player Safety, the extent of which the Rangers expressed their disagreement was unacceptable. <laughs> it is terribly unfair to question George Peros' professionalism and dedication to his role and the Department of Player Safety. All right, George. Hey, you win. That's right? a boy, George. <laughs> you win, all right? $250,000 fine. Uh, Dolan, still the owner. The president <laughs> and GM who probably told Dolan, we're probably going to get like a $250,000 fine if you do this. I, don't you fuck you. Get, Shut up. Tweet it out. My money. They're fired. What a time. Good for the NHL. You got fights, you got a little drama. Now listen, the hockey purists aren't going to like it because the sport is awesome without all of that. But hey, if we can get more people to watch hockey, I think that's good for everybody. Yeah, I, I we need good. what happened last night to be happening at least once a week. Yeah, and At least one <laughs> hockey game a week, we need the boys just fucking dropping mitts and beating the shit out of each other and then playing. It's awesome. Ty, you're going to get attacked by the hockey people. I might, but, but he's hey, right. I mean, I mean, the new team, the Seattle Kraken, they should strictly sign players who will go to war with okay, them every so, single week. So the goons in the protectors used to be a real thing in hockey and yeah. then nick says you know the league wants the players to kind of figure it out but they have also put in a lot of rules and benefits to not kind of doing the old school fighting stuff right it wasn't fighting trying to they were trying to phase it out of the game almost Whoa. they were a couple years ago they were trying to phase fighting yeah. out of the game completely weren't they yeah they, they weren't going to straight up eliminate it but this the way they adjusted the the flow of the game with the rules and, and they realized they had a lot of skill in in that could, they could capitalize on that so they went that route as opposed to kind of promoting the the heavyweight bouts and all that so you don't really see like the george peros is who is the department of player safety head he used to be a straight up fighter thousand career penalty minutes. Oh, so that's why Tom Wilson. Weapon. Hey, you're cool with me, pal. Yeah. Now, that would go to the Rangers' point of his professionalism right. being questioned. But, yeah. but Tom can play. George couldn't really play. Uh, yeah, but Whoa. but he was great at probably interfering and slowing the game down and keeping Good the stars the safe and he could fight. And great everything, mustache. And everything like that. But whenever you, when you talk about them trying to open a game up to get a little bit more speed, I think, by the way, as a fan of hockey who has watched hockey, I think it getting faster was good for hockey. That's like oh, one, yeah, of the, one of the more spectacular things about hockey. But when you can take a trip back in time real quick and it's just like you fucked with one of our friends, okay, well, we got to fight you now. And that, that is just... That's really cool. I like it. I wish more sports would be able to do yeah. that.